Are you ready to upgrade your computer to Windows 11 or install it from scratch? In this video, I'm going to walk you through the entire installation process step by step. Whether you're doing a clean install or setting up a brand new system, this guide will help you every step of the way. So grab your USB drive, sit back, and follow along. Let's get started. First, you have to boot your Windows into your USB. To do that, open your browser and search Windows 11 Download. Now click on link which leads to Microsoft.com. Scroll down. You will see a section with name Download Windows 11 Disk Image. Select the Windows from the dropdown and click on Confirm. After a few seconds, it will lead to Windows Language section. Select the language from dropdown. In my case, it's English and click Confirm. After a few seconds, 64-bit download button will appear. Click on that. Your Windows ISO file is now downloading. It takes time, so be patient. Once downloaded, we will need Rufus Media Creation Tool to boot Windows ISO. Open your browser once again and search Rufus. Go to rufus.ie downloads page. Now, download the latest portable version of Rufus. Once downloaded Rufus, plug in your USB and double-click on Rufus. Rufus will open and it will automatically detect your USB. If you have multiple USBs plugged in, then select your USB that you want to boot from the top drop-down. In Boot Selection section, click on Select and then browse to your Windows ISO file. Now, partition system is very important. Click on MBR if your old system partition is based on MBR. Otherwise, choose GPT. In my case, I have chosen MBR due to my system configuration. Try to leave format options as it is. Click on Start. You will see a pop-up window with customization option. You can customize your Windows 11 here, like removing 4 GB RAM requirement, Microsoft account requirement, your Windows username, disabled data collection, and regional time and date setting. Click on OK. Rufus now will format your USB and transfer Windows files into USB. Once finished, close Rufus and you are good to go. Now that the installation media is prepared, insert the USB into the computer where you want to install Windows 11. Start your PC, and if your PC already running, restart the system. And enter the BIOS or UEFI settings. This is usually done by pressing a specific key like F2, F12, F9, delete or escape during the startup. In my case, it's F9 key. Depending on your computer's manufacturer, once inside the BIOS menu, Navigate to the boot order settings and click on your USB drive as the boot device. Computer will start from the USB. I have chosen my installation partition as MBR, so the USB booted as legacy as well as UEFI. So I have to press any key to continue. You should now see the Windows setup screen. Choose your language, time and currency format, and keyboard layout. Then click Next, and on Select Setup option, I will choose previous version of setup. Old installation UI will appear. Once again, you will have to choose language, time and currency format, and keyboard layout. Then click Next and select Install Now. If prompted, enter your Windows 11 product key. If you don't have one at the moment, you can skip this step by clicking I don't have a product key. You'll still be able to activate Windows later. Next, choose the edition of Windows 11 that matches your license, accept the Microsoft license terms, and click Next again. At this point, you'll be asked how you want to install Windows. If you're upgrading an existing installation and want to keep your files, you can select the Upgrade option. However, for a clean installation, click on Custom Install Windows Only. You'll now see a list of partitions on your hard drive. Select your old Windows drive and click on Format. Once Format complete, select the disk and click on Next. The installation process will now begin. Windows 11 will start copying files, installing features and updates, and configuring your system. This process may take anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes depending on your hardware. Your computer will restart multiple times during the process, just let it run until you see the setup screen again. You'll be asked to let's connect you to a network, at this click on I don't have internet, and then continue with limited setup. Once the installation is complete, you'll go through the first time setup. This is also called the out-of-box experience and let Windows finalize the setup. This might take a few more minutes. At the time of Windows booting, we skip privacy and regional settings, so it will not be set here. 
Once everything is done, you'll finally land on the Windows 11 desktop. You now have a clean installation of Windows 11 ready to use. The first thing you should do is activate Windows if you haven't already. Congratulations, you've just installed Windows 11. Whether you're using it for work, gaming, or content creation, you now have Microsoft's latest and most powerful operating system running on your machine. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Mara's Tech, and let me know in the comments if you want more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.